Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a midweek version, a, uh, a, a Wednesday five minutes with Phil. And we're trying out some new things technically here today. So uh, uh, appreciate your patience with us as we do this. But uh, we want to uh, welcome you today and uh, let you know that we're glad that you've made it. And uh, we want to continue from where we left off just uh, yesterday, if you remember, we started a brand new series from the book of Psalms, chapter 40, verses 1 through 3. And uh, David here is talking about uh, God doing a, a real complete work in his life and doing a really great thing for him in his life. And uh, I want to pick up from where we left off. So uh, if you will, uh Follow along on the screen, and uh, we will read these verses again together. Here's what it says, Psalm 40, starting in verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and the mire. Now, here's where we're going to focus on today, the part that's underlined. He set my feet on a rock. And he gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. And again, verse 2 says, He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. Now, uh, this, is, this is a real important part of God's work in our lives because uh, oftentimes we ask God to um, take us out of the trouble. If you remember, the scripture said that uh, he brought me out of the slimy pit. Okay, and that's great. We love it when God does that, but God has no desire to stop there with you. Uh, God wants to continue the work, and that's what we're looking at today. He said, he set my feet on a rock so that I could stand. See, it'd be one thing if God rescued David from the slimy pit, but just like, you know, threw him on the grass and say, good luck, soldier, have fun. But that's not the way God acts. You see, when God does his work in our lives, he not only brings us out of our really difficult situation, but he also places us at a spot where we can stand on our own, where we don't just uh, become a victim the whole time, and, and that's all of a sudden our mentality, but he sets our feet on a rock. In other words, God has every intention of taking us from where we might be be currently, okay? And what he wants to do is not only rescue us from a bad situation, whatever that is for you, but he also wants to put your foot, your feet on a rock so that you can stand, so that you can be strong again, so you don't come off like you're a victim. You're actually living in a way where you're actually better than before you were even in the slimy pit. That's the complete work of God. And this idea that we have to live our entire lives as victims, or our entire lives as wounded people, uh, that's just not the case. You are not damaged goods. God desires to set your feet on a rock so that you could totally stand. So today, if you find yourself having recently gone through some stuff, or maybe you're going through some stuff now, understand that God's work for you is this. He wants to not only rescue you from the bad stuff, but he also wants to put you in a place of strength again. And I want you to rest on that today. I want you to know that that is God's intent for you, not just to be a victim, but to be a victor in Jesus Christ. All right? I want you to take that truth with you all day today, all right? God bless you. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.